The Drop Dead RDA from Hell Vape, TVC and The Vaping Heaven. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Drop Dead RDA from the Vapor Chronicles, TVC and the Billy the Vaping Haven. Uh, they have collaborated. They had the Dead Rabbit RDA. That was the Vaping Heaven's RDA. Very popular, very successful RDA. They had TVC's The Drop RDA. Again, super popular, super, super well-liked RDA. And they have combined forces. They have collaborated to produce with Hellvape the Drop Dead RDA, taking the best bits from the Drop Dead, the, sorry, the Drop RDA, and the best bits from the Dead Rabbit RDA, and putting them together. And this is what we've got. 24mm RDA, dual or single coil, goon tips on top, comes with two very nice goon tips, squonky and non-squonky, and a wide range of colours available from this. So what have they done? What's it all about? Basically, it has um, a revised version of the Drop RDA's deck, uh, but with a lot of the great features of the Dead Rabbit, the barrel style, the airflow style, and all those features from the Dead Rabbit. So they've combined those two things. What we'll do is we'll slide down low, um, we'll have a look at this up close, we'll put a build in it, I'll show you how to wick it, all that good stuff, I'll show you what they've changed and how they've change things from the two original versions into this one version then we'll come come back up top for pros and cons we'll compare it to the originals um, and we'll t you know do you really need this one and all that sort of stuff pros and cons when we come back up top but let's go down low and have a proper look at this the drop dead RDA let's go Okay guys, here we are down low with the Drop Dead RDA from Hell Vape, TVC and Vaping Haven. Very cool packaging, that's what it looks like. Cool new logo, DD for Drop Dead and the Dead Rabbit inside uh, the centre. Uh, very cool packaging. Inside the box you get uh, your normal pin, your squonk pin, you get a clear goon tip, you get a very fancy goon tip as well. Um, you get... Uh, your allen key, you get your screwdrivers, all that good stuff, o-rings, all that good stuff. Let's uh, let's dive down into uh, the RDA. Okay guys, this is the RDA, the Drop Dead RDA Hell Vape. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I have installed my squonk pin. Um, obviously you get a normal pin as well. Uh, in the spares but uh, here it is so we've got the new logo so it's the dead rabbit in the middle with the D D for drop dead um, behind it so you've got your new logo there you've got this knurled section here for your new adjustable airflow goon fitting tips a uh, very nice drip tip actually uh, you know not just your traditional goon it has the the metal insert bit as well like a lot of the fancier drip tips uh, goon tips do uh, so that's very nice that that's included stainless one seems to come with this bluey one you do get a clear goon tip as well and uh, all your favorite 810 goon tips will fit in here absolutely no problem uh, so that is uh, not an issue at all okay so starting from the top we've got that goon drip tip as we've said we have our adjustable airflow now on the drop the airflow was maybe the one negative people talked about on the drop the drop was so well received, such a brilliant RDA. If people had a negative, it was possibly the uh, adjustable options on the airflow of the drop, uh, because it was that big T shape. You know, it it gave you a certain set of options. Um, so this one has more like the Dead Rabbit style airflow, but the drop style deck. So this has got your airflow adjustable here, nice knurling here, makes it very, very easy. You can actually reduce it very small, which is really good because it does lend itself to single and dual coil, this RDA. So you can go really small with your airflow like that, or you can have it very wide open, swooshy airflow like that. Um, so, here we go, so, 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 there we go, that is that, that is what that is looking like. Okay, so, moving our weight down the barrel, we've got the logo as we've seen, 
Uh, they've really classed up this barrel uh, compared to the drop. They've really made this really nice and flush and pretty now. And I'll show you how they've done that when we open it up. Underneath, got our squonk pin installed, serial number 43. Uh, got this very, very quickly from uh, from the Hell Vape guys. Um, drop dead, Hell Vape, a collaboration between the brilliant, it doesn't say that, but the brilliant <laughs> Heathen and the Vapor Chronicles. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so that's what's on the base. Let's uh, let's open this puppy up. Okay, so looking at the barrel first, this is what I was talking about before. On the drop, the, the drop had a big cutout here, um, where and that allowed you to sit the barrel down on there and adjust the airflow without the uh, the barrel spinning. On this one, they've really smartly internalized that. So that groove on the inside is what stops your barrel spinning when you're adjusting your airflow and take it on and off. Uh, and it just makes it look really great, really good, really nice and pretty RDA on the outside because they've put all that on the inside now. So that is that. Moving along to the deck. Okay, so this is the deck. Is the deck very much the airflow and design externally is very dead rabbit. Now the deck is very drop. This is the drop deck, really. Um, slight improvements. It looks like they've gold plated this deck uh, and the posts as well. Um, so yeah, so that is what's going on there. That is what's going on there. It's very much the drop style deck. Basically, the idea behind this deck is that you, you can essentially put your coils straight down. You can drop, hence the name, drop them straight down here, whatever length you want. They sit on top here, and you wick it down there. The wicking method for the drop and the rabbit were the same, and uh, they're the same here, but it's, they've gone with this drop-style deck. And let's uh, let's put a coil in it now, and I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through this just in case you, you, you missed out on the drop and you didn't have a drop. Uh, so I'll show you how this deck works and why it's so clever. Okay, so I'm going to try one of these braided coils from Watofo. Not tried them before, but uh, they look very interesting. So wanting to give them a bash. So what they look like, let's stick them in. So what you've got is uh, two sides. You've got your gold plated side and your stainless steel side here. Uh, positive, negative. So you want to always have one lead in here, one lead in here, basically. It's nice that it's two different colours avoids any confusion with that. Now height on here, now height on here is not as big an issue as a lot of other RDAs uh, and I'm going to be doing this on camera so it's going to look a bit fiddly but I, believe me in real life it's not. Um, I'm going to go with the height of this. I know you can't see too good what I'm doing right now but I'm just touching these leads in. I want to keep them level. And I'm not going to worry about the actual placement of the coil yet, just the length of the leads. They, they've they shortened this from the drop, in my opinion. I don't have a drop to hand. They've shortened this down quite a bit, in my opinion, uh, which is a very nice move. Um, it was very high before. I think it was about here before. It looks like they've shortened that down. Uh, check out their uh, demonstration video uh, to find out the, the intricacies of all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, first coil in. And as you can see, we just drop. I'm going to cut this lead in a sec, but we just drop this down, tie it up, and the job's a good one. And how high you want that coil is completely up to you. I like this bit right here where you've screwed it in like this, uh, and you look like a maniac. <laughs> you look like you've you look, you look like an absolute maniac. It reminds me of when you go to the hairdressers and they do the sides before the top, and you just look stupid. This is the bit there, the just where you've just done the sides. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to sort this out. It looks crazy now, we're going to sort this out. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are putting in our jig, our tooling jig, and we are t twisting and pushing these into the position we want them. The thing to bear in mind here, obviously, is your airflow holes. So you want the airflow to roughly line up with these coils. You know, that's the conventional logic. So you're trying to get them the exact right height with that. 
but because you've got all this bit in the middle you can bend and twist them to however you like so I'm get I want them pretty close together um, but and I want them level with that air hole and that's what I'm trying to do so I'm roughly happy with that I'm going to tighten them a tiny bit more and then warm them up okay so I've warmed them up I've tidied them up I've neaten them up pretty good pretty good very level with the airflow you could with this new drop dead RDA uh, put these lower you could put these lower on here um, if you wanted to um, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't felt the need to um, on this build so that's the thing it, it gives you even more options if I had put the coils lower they wouldn't line up with the airflow so th this is what I this is how I think it should be built so there we go so uh, let's uh, let's get wicking this up let's give it a wick Okay, guys, it is now built. We are now rocking and rolling. There we go. Looking very nice. Looking very swish. You wick it just like Dead Rabbit, just like the original drop. Just get those big lumps of cotton pointing down. And it's just shocking how well this squonks, you know. Uh, just squonks up. It, it, it still continues to surprise me how well this thing wicks. It just wicks very, very well for something where the coils are so far from the from the the drip well, the juice well of the RDA. It just really surprises me how well this wicks, and it does wick, and the flavour's fantastic for the coils being so close to your mouth hole. Um, so there we go. That is it built up. Just get those big lumpy cottons things. Uh, you know, get your big lumps of cotton down the sides, and happy days. Putting the top cap back on. All you got to do is point it down like that and it slides straight on and it slides straight on and you've got that adjustable airflow in there happy days uh, so there we go rocking and rolling let's uh, go up top have a really good talk about this RDA pros and cons all that good stuff let's go okay guys that was the drop dead RDA down low put a full build in it on camera to show you about that just in case you missed the drop RDA you know if that one passed you by for whatever reason that is how you put a coil in the drop that is how you put a coil in here uh, and wicked it up as well the wicking is the same for the original drop and the dead rabbit they both have this long leads of cotton these long strands of cotton style where it drops right down into the deck um, you know, if anyone's seen me talk about on the vlogs about the uh, the Dead Rabbit RDA, if anyone's seen me talk about that, they'll see that I was very sceptical about that, especially for squonking. Uh, I, I did not see how having the coil so far away from where the juice comes in from squonking would ever be a good idea. But it's shockingly good how well this feeds, you know, how well this wicks when it's squonking. Um, it, it's brilliant, you know. I think it's just because there's so much cotton, you know, there's so much juice held in all that cotton. You know, you'd have to vape it a million times to dry all that cotton out. So it does it does wick exceedingly well. It does squonk exceedingly well, uh, both in those original versions and in this. I love the cosmetic changes they've made to this RDA. Uh, the drop RDA, the deck nailed it. Brian nailed the deck on the drop. Such a clever idea, such a versatile way of doing it. So easy to build and wick. He nailed the deck, but I actually think the looks of the drop 
weren't perfect. You know, it had that big cutout section, which was a completely legitimate use for that drop cutout section. It allowed you to ch move the barrel, adjust the airflow without it moving. Totally legitimate. But it did kind of ruin the aesthetics. Uh, the Dead Rabbit was always a better looking RDA, in my opinion, than the drop. And they've incorporated that look into this. And it's a very stylish RDA. I love the new logo as well. And I love that it's just engraved and not too in your face, the new logo as well. So I really like the cosmetic changes they've made. The only cosmetic thing I will say is that, and you may have seen down low, certain goon tips look better than others on here. So if you've got a wide variety of goon, uh, goon tips, certain ones will look better than others, and that's just because the barrel straight after the tip starts to chamfer. Uh, you know, it's no big deal at all, but certain, if you've got a really wide fat goon tip, it might look slightly weird on here. Uh, but normal goon tips look great. Um, so yeah, that's the only cosmetic thing I will say. Um, the airflow, love the new airflow on here. All these little holes, uh, the Bonza did it as well. There's something about having lots of little holes rather than a big hole, make th makes the vape super smooth and quiet. Just silence, just complete silence when you, when you vape it. Uh, I love it wide open, but the great thing about this uh, airflow is it's so, you've got so many options. You've basically got eight airflow options with this RDA and closing it down is really good if you want to do a single coil and this RDA does do a single coil really really well. So really like the adjustments to the airflow, really like the cosmetic changes, they've really sexed it up in my opinion, made it very very nice looking indeed. The deck, I love the deck, like I say the deck is great, uh, super easy to build, super easy to wick, no issues there at all. I love that it has flathead screws as well because when you're choosing your leg length, you can one turn tighten it, check if you're happy, just back it off a tiny bit, move it up and down, it makes it very, very simple to get the height right. I like the coils to be bang on this airflow, uh, just like the goon, you know, that's what's so great about the goon, such direct air, uh, and this is the same as that. It's vaping like this. Lovely vape, super smooth, super tasty. The reason the flavour is so good, the coils are right up here in the RDA, right up here in the RDA, right next to your mouth hole. There is no travel time. It works almost like a low profile RDA, except you've got all that wicking, all that juice, all that deep juice well. So you've, you've got the flavour of a low profile because the coil's right up top of the RDA and that's the, that's the, that's the genius of it. Um, so yeah, so, I really like the changes. I, I do think it is the best of. It is the best of the drop, the best of the rabbit put together uh, to make a, a damn fine RDA. Available in loads of colours, really well made, um, super affordable as well. Hell vape, you know, they make it well, they make it cheap. Uh, so it's super affordable as well. It's going to be widely available when this thing is out. Um, first saw this at Expo, talking to the guys at Expo. That's how long they've been working on this, you know. Uh, so this is it's not being a rush job, it's not being a cash grab. They have made a really nice effort of this RDA. If you have a rabbit and you're happy, if you have a drop and you're happy, you don't need this RDA. You don't need this RDA. However, if for whatever reason you didn't get a drop or you didn't get a rabbit, Seriously consider getting this RDA because it's absolute, absolutely brilliant squonking, brilliant dripping, cloudy RDA. Flavour's phenomenal, build quality's phenomenal. Definitely check it out if you didn't get one of those. If you did have one of those, if you have got a drop, you have got a rabbit and you like it and you love it and you want to get another, get one of these. Don't get another drop, don't get another rabbit, get a drop dead because uh, it's uh, it's great. It really is a best of the two. Uh, definitely, definitely very cool indeed. I really like it. I think it's great. I love the changes. I love the flavour. I love the smoothness. Every aspect of this RDA, I love. And I lo as I said, literally just in my previous vlog, I love, I love the Dead Rabbit so much. I love the Dead Rabbit RDA so much. So it is no shock to me at all that I am raving about this RDA. I think it's great. I think they've done a brilliant job. Uh, top work fellas if you do see this video um, yeah I really like it definitely check it out if you're a cloudy squonker if you're a cloudy dripper you like your tube mechs and stuff check out this RDA uh, I think they I think it's really smart really clever thought the rabbit was great the drop is great this is even better this is even better 
Um, I'm not saying throw your dead rabbits in the bin or you drop RDAs in the bin. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, but this is great. It is a great RDA. Uh, let me know what you think of this RDA. Let me know if you're thinking about getting one. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments section below. Like and subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you guys on the next review. Cheers.